Good day, my friends. It's pretty much impressive what I'm looking at uh, because I'm testing the new features of um, the DLSS 4 preview, which comes um, with the new DLSS 3.10. And I will show you in a minute how to install it, but generally speaking, I'm, I'm very um, happy with the with this file because um, the you know the the clarity of um, of the displays is amazing with this uh, new version and um, here I'm at the Yellowstone National Park it's um, you know white winter paradise it's beautiful the scenery is beautiful but what did surprise me um, was the clarity of the display screen. Um, I'm in the quality preset and without uh, uh, without super sampling um, the resolution I'm in the native resolution in the godlike mode in virtual desktop and I've simply selected the quality preset of DLSS and in this version let's say 4 it's not it's not the um, official uh, fourth iteration it's still 3 but it um, in this uh, in this version of the DLSS uh, 3.10 you can uh, you can preview some features of the upcoming release in, which will be um, live on the 30th of uh, January and okay, I'm very surprised by the quality and the sharpness and the how can I say the less amount of ghosting I usually um, I was having before so all you got to do is to go to the github and find the DLS swapper this is the la latest release download one of the um, those two files or the executable or the portable zip you will have this um, this application so the games um, that were detected this is uh, MSFS 2020 this is 2024 and you see that uh, this is the latest DLSS version uh, downloaded and installed you can go to the library get the latest one and download uh, either manually or uh, let the application uh, do the thing then the other application you need it's DLSS tweaks uh, just go uh, to this site uh, there's the link in the description download this application you need to um, register it's free um, download this uh, small application it will put the file and put the files inside the root directory of flight simulator 2020 or 2024 this is the root directory of 2024 um, you will have the dlss tweaks config.exe so double click on this and you will have this window where you will put the dlss preset and to benefit from the last uh, profile um, so the preview of uh, DLSS 4 you have to select the G letter preset here and all the um, presets DLLA ultra ultra performance performance balance and quality this is ultra quality that has to be added because ultra quality um, this is the correct the um, factor of 0.8 you can customize all those factors um, the the first four uh, are uh, by default this um, initially is zero and you can find you can put it to 0.8 or 0.85 or 0.9 um, according to your liking so i normally use the quality preset that um, forces a resolution of 0.666 um, of the native resolution and so helps a lot the GPU to render the image and then upscales uh, with the uh, IA algorithm to the full 
resolution you are at. So important to set all the profile to the G with, um, yes, there's another, uh, there's another um, method to get this working is via the um, NVIDIA inspector. Well, you there we, you will have to select the J profile, but selecting the G here in DLSS Twix is the same as selecting the J profile in the uh, NVIDIA inspector. So that's it, it's very simple. Um, do um, those steps. Um, I did it both in 2020 and Flight Simulator 2024, and the results are what I was telling you in the video. Here we are in the northern part of the park, Yellowstone National Park, and here we are. It's uh, you can it's it's all white, but here we are at Mammoth Hot Spring. I've been there in 2017, I believe. It, it, it was an amazing, an amazing uh, holiday here at Yellowstone, and this is the Mammoth Hot Spring Village. Since we are bush flying, we will attempt a landing in the on the rough terrain here. Keep an eye on the speed tape. We should be good to go here. On the road. Whoa. Okay, my friends, I hope this video has been useful to you. Be free to post your comments below and see you to the next one. Bye bye. Have a nice weekend.